everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here. Welcome to Chucky Attacks Halloween Extravagant Reviews, as I am going to be reviewing The Simpsons Treehouse of Horror 28. This is the 28th Treehouse of Horror episode of The Simpsons. That is really crazy to think. I always look forward to these Treehouse of Horror episodes every year just because one, I am still a big Simpsons fan. I love The Simpsons. And um, you know, regardless if they turn out good or bad, I still always look forward to one every year because they really do get me into the Halloween spirit. So the opening sequence for this year is actually in the style of Sausage Party and the opening sequence is titled The Sweets Hereafter. It's the Simpsons family as candy bars. They have to survive and all that stuff and this opening sequence I could just tell you I loved it. This opening sequence is awesome to me. It was really funny. It was cool to see the Simpsons family as a bunch of these candy bars having to survive. And of course the funniest part is when you see Homer eating off of this chocolate Easter bunny as well as the rest of the family and that's when you see the title Treehouse of Horror 28 and that's where you really kick off from there but yeah opening sequence this year freaking awesome great way to open the special regardless if it's if it's good better okay this is how you open an episode let's go ahead and kick it off with the first segment of the special and the first segment is titled the exorcist so by that's how you guys can basically know that this is a parody of the exorcist and what can I say about this one? I honestly really liked it. I think it's a very solid segment. It's Maggie being possessed by a demon and all these crazy shenanigans happen. I did like the writing. There's a ton of humor in this segment that really did make me laugh a lot. Although I will say as far as like issues go, I do think the segment when we get towards the end is a little rushed. And I do think that whole scene with the priest um, getting the demon out of Maggie, although a very funny scene, I still technically enjoyed it. I just do think it was rushed. And I know it's because of time limit with these segments, but it did come off as a little bit rushed towards the end, but as a whole, this is a very solid segment. I did really like it a lot. I had a lot of fun with it. It's very well written. It's a very funny. And I just like the aspect of Maggie being possessed by his demon. And then of course the very ending, even though it was rushed, I did think that was pretty funny too. So I'm gonna give Exorcist a 7.5 out of 10. The second segment of this episode is Coralisa, which is a little parody of Coraline, a great like of film. This segment, I have to say, I loved it. I love the segment uh, so much. I think this is a great segment. Although, yes, um, it's gonna kind of sound similar to what I said about the first segment. It does get a little bit rushed, mainly towards the end, but as a whole, I was smiling a lot throughout this segment. The humor really worked a lot for me. I thought the writing was very creative here. Wasn't really a fan of the bits where Maggie vomits, like really, really vomits. I didn't really find that funny, but that's only twice that they used that gag in this segment, so that wasn't too bothersome, but wasn't really particularly a fan of that gag. But I did like how this whole segment was parodying Coraline, and when we see Snowball and Lisa go to the alternate universe, the animation style is completely different. And let me just say that the animation style is so, so freaking good. It is just so amazing um, how detailed the animation was. I was very impressed when you go from the traditional Simpsons and then Lisa and Snowball go to this other universe and it's like entirely different. That really did fit and it did work considering um, the kind of style the movie Coraline had. And then eventually we see the other Simpsons family go to this alternate universe and how that whole entire thing played out was really, really funny, especially in the ending too. That was really funny. Like I said, it does get a little bit rushed, mainly towards the end and all that, but it's still a segment overall that I really love. I feel like they really did the segment right. I was very impressed with the writing. Most of the humor really got to me. I think it's a segment done right, and I'm gonna give Coralisa an eight out of 10. 
really love this segment. And now we get to the third and final segment of this episode, and that is, mmm, Homer. Now, I'm gonna have to say it straight off the bat, this is the weakest segment, unfortunately. And it's a shame because the opening sequence is amazing. The first segment was really solid, and I love the second segment. This third segment, however, it's not that good. Now, I'll say this, I don't think it's horrible. And the reason I don't think this is per se a horrible segment is because there are enough gags that did make me laugh. Maybe not a whole lot of it, but there are enough to keep me entertained throughout the short um, time limit that it does have, like with the other segments. Um, and I don't think the storyline is horrible either. Like, I don't think the writing is horrible. It's just very mediocre. It's mediocre writing. It's not like one of the worst writings I've seen. First of all, the concept is that Homer, when he runs out of food because Marge and the kids, they go out and Homer is left home alone. When he runs out of food, he starts to eat himself. And I know uh, when I say that, some of you are watching this video going, what the hell? But I'm being serious. That's the storyline for this segment. And while, like I said, I didn't hate it. I wasn't sitting through the segment pissed. I wasn't pissed out of my mind. As weird as it is, as pretty sick as it is, because you see, Homer eating himself. Literally, you see this guy eating himself. Like, wow. It is pretty funny, though. I will say this, um, how this segment opened with Lisa coming on the stage and saying how this segment will make you so sick. It'll make you want to watch Game of Thrones or something like that. Like, that was very funny. That, that was a really great way to start off the segment. That was very clever. A lot of the humor really wasn't all that great, but there were some parts that actually did give me some genuine laughs. And ultimately, honestly, that's all I could really describe mm, Homer. It's... Pretty disgusting, for sure, um, but I didn't hate it, and it's just there. I was kind of bored watching it, and I'm overall going to give mm, Homer a 5.5 out of 10. Not bad, not good, it's just there. So when we range my ratings from the first segment, the second segment, and the third segment, Overall, The Simpsons Treehouse of Horror 28 is going to get their rating of a 6.5 out of 10 because of that final segment. I was really ready to give this overall episode a fresh rating, but that last segment does kill this episode from reaching to that 7 out of 10. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about this year's Simpsons Treehouse of Horror episode. What's your favorite segment from this year's episode? And of course, you guys, thank you so much for watching. This is 22 Tiger Dude here. And don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.